Hello my Owlets! How are you guys doing today? I wanted to come on and talk about the upcoming Mrs. Claus series and also show you guys how what I'm going to be doing to document Christmas and just some of you know some fun little chatty things about um, kicking off the Christmas season. I am it's the day after Thanksgiving. Um, we celebrated my family which was fun and um, if you guys didn't see my Instagram and Facebook post yesterday, I did um, post the printables for the upcoming class. And they look like this. This is done. I literally um, just printed these out on 8.5 by 11. I do plan on making these a little smaller um, for especially her to fit onto my journal. So I'll be showing you guys that later on. Um, she's just adorable. She was in one of my journals a few years ago and I just thought she was just so Christmassy and cute and um, perfect for just a piece of art to go into this next um, crafty series. So that is part of it. We have a supply list. Um, we're going to be doing a journal charm and this is literally I'm going to be using a lot of the supplies that I picked up in Maine at the craft store which is like um, they're kind of ornaments you know plasticky non-breakable I put non-breakable it's because mine's going to be put on a paper clip so I want to be able to take it on and off my journal as I play in it and then um, uh, so that's kind of Ellen Ribbon because we're going to be making a funky junky journal charm uh, Christmas wand. I always like to kick off my Christmas season with a wand. Um, so I am going to be doing a stuffed, which I didn't put that on here. Um, if you have any of that pillow stuffing, it'd be great. If not, you can use like tissue paper or something like that. Works fine too. We're going to be making a little um, Christmas wand and it's going to be really tiny. I'm going to be using a popsicle stick. If you got the kit, uh, <clears throat> let's see if I have it. Oh, here they are. If you got the kit, you have one in there, but literally a dowel stick will work. Um, even you could go outside and get a twig and it would work too. So it's, this is called um, Mrs. Claus, what is it? Uh, frugal and fun. So we're gonna be doing a frugal route. We're gonna be doing using what we have mostly. <laughs> Um, and so that's going to be something I use. I have felt that I'll be using. And then you can um, just do like any kind of fun Christmassy. Again, I want to use product stuff that I purchased in Maine at the last, um, when I went to that, um, um, when I went to the uh, craft store there, which I talked about. And then the Santa paint brushes. I'm going to be using a one inch really inexpensive, let me get that for you really quick. These are those really inexpensive paint brushes you can buy um, because we're going to be making these into little Santa Clauses and you can use whatever size you want but I, um, I'm going to be using the one inch and felt, paint, Google eyes or you could actually paint the eyes on here. So it's really, um, that's gonna be the, the what, what I'm using. Uh, and then I'm gonna be doing handmade cracker gifts, which that's when you're saving your paper towel and your toilet paper rolls. Um, I have an idea what I wanna do with this. Uh, so, I don't know, I, I wanna make a bunch, time will tell. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Time will tell. So that is, um, and then of course I have like glitter, tissue paper, twine to tie the ends, and then I'm gonna fill it with candy and then a quote. So that's um, that is the handmade. That those are the little crafty projects that I have, and of course I'm gonna be showing you different things I'm gonna be doing in my journal. Um, the next printable is the Mrs. Claus journal prompts, and this is just some ideas of things you can put in your journal, prompts like a Dear Christmas Letter, currently. These are things that I plan on doing and I hope to be doing videos as I do them. So, um, and then of course taking pictures of your front door, favorite things. You know, a lot of these things, um, I know as we get into our December daily, we are journaling things about every day, but sometimes it's, even though the Christmas season is like exciting and fun, 
some days, maybe on a Monday night or Tuesday night, you're not doing anything. And so this is a great way to document, um, you know, your front door or um, things like that. So that is what that idea is about. These, I kind of used these, I believe, when we did our Alice, no, Anna Green Gables, maybe, or All About Me, or something um but these are just i kind of again you can resize these and i want to think about cutting those out and then doing it like maybe you could do it as kind of like as a bullet journal and writing down the movies that you've watched we've already been watching christmas movies like crazy so um this could be an ongoing list of uh christmas books i also have a bunch of their children's books but i love reading um one of my favorites and one of my kids favorites is um of course twas the night before christmas but also this charlie brown one where sally is in a play and she has to say hark because she is hark the herald angel scene and she says hockey stick and so we always like make a joke about out of the blue we say hockey stick because we all know we're referencing that book so those are some different things um i did put tough moments in here because i know we all have our tough moments um and that's something that um i did want to kind of bring into my journaling is some it's not i know that when i'm doing um prompts and things it's all happy things but i know that we all go through tough moments and so um i thought that would be um i definitely want to encourage um journaling during those times because i tell you what it has helped me so um i did that's one of the reasons i put tough moments because sometimes the holidays are very tough on people there's memories um, all kind of things that can be triggered and so I just thought that was um, a good way to kind of journal about it you know get it out there those kind of things so those are some um, title pages and then Miss Crafty Miss Claus Crafty Bingo I think this could be really fun as something you could put in your journal and um, you know click off put a sticker on here do a check mark something like that um, once you do these particular things throughout the season so again um it's just kind of again like different kind of journaling prompts but also like adding ribbon you know when we make our um when we make our journal charms um that could definitely be something um that we could add on to we could do a check mark we added ribbon to our journals so or our crafty projects okay so this is the december girl um i didn't adjust my cut page so it you know I'm missing my I always if I mess up on one I always take it because you know it's me and I, I would never send this to anybody but it's me so I would take um I would take those so and the other things I have are just like some printables from Calico Collage she is one of my favorite printable companies and so I went online the other morning and bought a it's called um Oh, it's my brain. It's like, uh, Huga. Am I saying it right? Huga. It's all cozy. It is Christmas. And I'll leave the link below to where you can find it. I also got some vintage um, washi strips that you can print out and add because I always like adding different things to my journal. Okay, so those are my printables. These are the ones that are available on my blog. I have a link below. You can go and print these out. They're at no cost. Um, to play along and then these I'll leave a link to where you can find her shop on Etsy if you want to check out some of her things. So how am I prepping? Well you know I have my Christmas journal. I mean my Christmas planner. Um, this is stuff these I keep every year so I've been working on it. I am really behind you guys because you know we're already into November dates to remember but you know I'm okay. I'm okay with it. I'm gonna sit down this weekend and fill this out um and so yeah so these are all my i've been playing around in this so this is one way that i'm prepping for journal i always keep that in my purse so that i have it at all times and then um magazines yes love magazines i got my flea market one this is one that i get every year so i want to sit down with it as well and flip through it i always like to get ideas to make little clusters and fun things like that um, I picked up this one, the Farmhouse Christmas. Um, again, it's just got some different ideas, some cuteness in there. I've been decorating our bedroom. 
So I love to get little ideas off of there. Oh, I picked this up at Dollar um, General. It's a, I just loved it. How cute is this? It's the little elf on the shelf, but I really love how cute the elf is. And then how cute would that be in a journaling page to, to color them and then cut it out and put it in your um, journal. Look at her face or its, its face. I don't know if it's, but anyway, so totally love this. Um, Victoria came in the mail. I, I do subscribe to them, so that's that. And then I picked up this Christmas crafts and then this one. Um, sorry. Better Homes and Garden and Good Housekeeping. I always like to have these anyway. Um, if I get ideas or if I get stuck, I can come up with something to create. So, um, again, really and truly Christmas crafting should be done in the summer. <laughs> That's why I do not, I do not like get upset when I see um, uh, Hobby Lobby have their crafty stuff out because that's when you have to start crafting. Seriously, I mean, right now, you could, you could. I want to make some wreaths, but uh, literally, you know, it's now it's like crunch time of the season to just enjoy and play and stuff. So um, yeah, so these are just um, oh glazed carrots. I haven't had those in forever. That would be yummy. So this is Anna, Anna Green Gables, and I mentioned ha putting some of her, um, using some of her um, traditions in this book to, oh my gosh, I wanna make one of those. I might make one of these outside of Christmas. Tea Cozy, I've seen these online and I love them. But um, these are just some ideas for making some cute little crafts, some gifts, some wreaths, different things. Very organic, very um, sweet in other times. And so, um, yeah, I love this. I love this book. I think I'll keep it out because I do want to make some things that, um, and food and, and crafts and stuff like that and decorating. But, um, I did buy this on, uh, I think I bought it on eBay. I mean, it was a used book on Amazon, to be honest with you, I think. But I always keep an eye out. I go to like thrift books or something like that because that's where I can buy a lot of different kind of books that, at a reasonable price and they're super fast shipping, shipping. And so, yeah, I buy, I buy a lot of used books online. Okay, now let's get to the journal. Okay, so. This is, oh, this is another page. I'm going to put that here. Actually, I'm going to do it while we're talking, so that way we can get it done. Um, so my journal, I'm going to take a different approach this season because it's been on my mind to do, to really, uh, you know, my, I promise you, I should have chosen balance as my word of the year, but I've already picked rom romanticized, but I'm trying to find some balance in my life <laughs> um, with decorating my house. I did my bedroom the other day a little bit for Christmas and I, I just love it and it's like it makes me happy and it's cozy and it's organized and it's clean and that's where I, I'm at in my life right now. I want to have a organized non-cluttery home. Um, you know I'm gonna have clutter. I'm a creator. I'm a crafter. I'm a scattered brain. I'm a mother. <laughs> I'm a dog mom, a cat mom, all the things. I'm gonna have clutter, I'm gonna have chaos, and I'm learning to embrace it, but I'm also learning to manage it as well. I'm trying to learn to manage it, let me just put it that way. I'm gonna stand up and do this because I just wanna make sure I get this even. Um, but I think I'm gonna be using my journal, because I've been on Pinterest. I think I'm gonna use my journal as a way to help me stay organized and focused. And one of the things that, look how perfect I did that. I'm so impressed with myself. <laughs> um, one of the things that um, I, I was noticing is the bullet journals kind of help you because you stay within your journal. You know, now in the past, I've had a really hard time like tracking stuff because 
you know, the days go by. But I'm trying to say, kind of like the morning pages of um, The Artist Way, you know, waking up early. I've been going to bed a lot more earlier and waking up earlier. And I still have my quiet time, but it's in the mornings instead of like, you know, in the evenings. And so I'm really, I'm thinking about ways that I can incorporate my journal to use every day to stay on task. And that could be, um, and again, you might be going, Rebecca, are you crazy? It's the holiday season and you're trying something new. Oh, <laughs> uh, why, well, yes, I am. <laughs> you know, because that is who I am. That's what I do. When I get an idea, I want to implement it right away. I want to see if it's going to work. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to over, um, what do you call it? I'm going to give it a whirl. I'm going to try it out and um, see what happens. So with that being said, um, I'll show you what my, my goal, my kind of my goals are. Now, I kind of went back and looked at some different things that I've done in the past and I don't have, I think it's out there because I'm in the, in the living room because I was looking at it. Um, yeah, this is one that I didn't adjust my cutting correctly. Um, so if you get this one, you should not have this issue. I just had it because I didn't do it right. But um, after I cut it and I saw that it was not cut right, I had to adjust and then all was well in the world. But um, so, so basically what, what I plan to do is kind of make lists that I go through weekly and check off, like everyday lists that, you know, that I will do. Oops. But what I had in this other journal, this was when I first started my business and everything, I had like checklists, because really where I get a lot of, and then it just became where I was, I didn't have like, to have, I didn't need these checklists because I really and truly kind of already had the groove down, but now I'm like having to readjust my scheduling, and so I really want to make this um, um, really kind of use my journal as a tool, other than just documenting memories, if that makes sense. And I still have my planner, but I don't know. Like I said, I'm. I'm going to, um, we're going to experiment here. Yes, it's the holidays and I'm experimenting. <laughs> but I think that it's not going to be perfect the first time I do it. Um, but I think it's going to be something that I can continuously grow through in 2024. And hopefully by this time next year, I will have... A system down you know so that's the hope that's the desire and I just want to start now okay so I'm just gonna kind of do just some cute little color in here and this is that uh, Huga paper too that I that I showed you earlier Okay, so I'm going to save that over here. Okay, so I have my introduction page done. And then this is the calendar, and I'm going to do an artsy calendar like I did in my November journal. Um, that was this couple videos ago. And is this crooked? Is my camera crooked? Let's see. Is that right? Okay. And then, um, Okay, so right now, I know you can't really see because it's penciled in, but I have week 1 through 8, 9 through 15, 16 through 20th, and 23 through 31st. So these are like my weekly, and I'm going to do like little checklists on here. Like things like um, vacuum, you know, weekly chores um, that I literally, you guys, oh my goodness. As a working mom, as a small business owner, as just life in general, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard to do it all. 
I am lucky enough to get, and this is like, especially if I'm not tired, <laughs> but you know, dinner, all this stuff. So I'm going to be making a list, like clean the bathrooms, the toilets or whatever. Um, but have that list and, you know, also incorporate some help with the family, you know, say, okay, you know, once a week we do need to clean our toilets, you know, and instead of like looking in there and going, oh my gosh, it's time to clean the toilets, you know, like have it be a weekly thing where I go through on Sunday or I go through and I go, okay, let me go ahead and do that. It's like, if it's on a list, I'm more inclined to remember it and do it versus like, La, 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 you know, that kind of thing. So this is a habit tracker. Um, this is where I'm, I have tried to do this in the past. I'm not very successful at it, but I'm going to continue to try. I'm not sure what I'm going to do up here. I thought about doing my goals, but um, back on this page here, I'm going to do a brain dump, which I like to sit down with my cup of coffee or in the evening or whatever. And, and it doesn't have to be all at one time, but just start doing brain dumps of things I want to do because, and this is going to, I'm going to do personal and I'm going to do business. So I don't want to combine the two and I'm going to just write it out because there's so much in my mind right now on, uh, for the future. And so I just need to get it out of my head and on paper. And I know that that helps. I've done it before. And what I used to do is brain dump at the beginning of the months, and then I would break down in the weekends what I would do. So, because that's when I have a lot more free time, even though now I don't particularly have that all of it kind of runs together, which I'm perfectly fine with. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a brain dump, personal brain dump, um, business. And then, and that's where I might come over here and write my goals. And I think that's that's what I've gotten so far of what I'm going to do with this. And then I'll start documenting my um, my week. So what I had originally thought about doing is um, doing like a collage sheet here and then writing here. But I don't want to. I I was looking at some of my old December dailies, and I was that was one of the years that I did. I was painting on this side, and then writing, and my writing. I didn't write. I mean, I wrote, I did lots of little painting, but then it was just like kind of just what I did that day instead of like going into debt, into depth, depth. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is do my morning pages where I come in and I write, and then I can come in and add photos from the day over here. That's my, that's my plan. Set aside 15, 20 minutes and write about, just write. That's what, I, that's what I want to do. So that's my goal this month. That's how I'm moving forward. Um, the spiral notebook turned out great. I'm not gonna make, you know, that's the thing that really help, is helpful though, is doing a page a day. I can come in here and decorate, make my clusters, you know, and I don't know how I'm gonna do that. That is gonna be tricky because if I say I have two pages worth of writing, you know, so I don't know. I'm going to, I might make up my clusters ahead of time. I've done that before, you know, my number clusters. So let, I'm, I'm in the train of thought of figuring all the things out. So, um, the other thing I really like to do, I know I had my gratitude journal going, um, but I almost feel like I want, I want to create like when my day starts, say I do my date do like a little circle, do a square, triangle, rectangle, and then write a little gratitude in there and keep that in this journal as well. Really make this my working um, life book, if that makes sense. So where I, I'm, you know, keep staying on task and things like that. So really, if I, I might try that with my gratitude. So um, the other thing I wanted to point out, and then I'll let you guys get back to your day, um, is these markers I've been using them I picked them up I think at Walmart maybe um they're this uh Stadler Stadler am I pronouncing that Stadler Stadler um and I've been using these and I really am enjoying them because they have um let me show you real quick here I'll use this they have a wide tip right and then they also have a fine tip where you can just write out 
and they seem to be working really well. And what I what I was really looking for, I didn't want my tips to get worn because that's what happens. Even though I love my Crayola ones, don't actually the Crayola ones are pretty good. Um, which ones get kind of squishy out? Oh, I think it's these. These look. They they start the. See how I, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like the tips get worn, the felt on the end get worn, and then they start kind of like not, for coloring they're great, but for writing it makes it more fatter than what you normally would want. But anyway, these are like my new favorite um, markers that I'm using. So I just kind of like to show some new, if I'm trying something new. But all right, you guys, y'all have a super sparkly rest of the day and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.